Hey guys, welcome to AMG Travel. So today I just wanted to make a quick update video here. Got a lot of questions in terms of receiving the NOA 1 as well as the NOA 2 for the K1 Visa Fiance process. So I went through the whole process here. Uh, we're about at the end of it here, so I just want to keep you guys updated. So the NOA is a notice of action. So you receive your first notice of action one when the USCIS receives your petition. So that's good news, but then after that is the long waiting period between the NOA 1 to the NOA 2. Now for us, every case is a little bit different. I mean, it's not going to be exactly the same case to case, of course, because many variables to take in factor there. However, we received our NOA 1 on June 30th. From that time, we're kind of left in the dark. You're not really seeing any updates or what's going on with your petition there. You just want to be sure that you did send everything correctly so you can not get any requests for evidence because that can delay the process and often um, create about two weeks or even a month of additional waiting time. So you want to make sure you do everything correctly the first time around. Uh, and if all this stuff is a little more difficult, you can certainly hire companies to do it for you on your behalf, which I went in detail in my previous video, so you certainly can check that out as well, the K-1 Fiancé Visa overview of the process. Now, we received our NOA 2 on January 1st. So it took us about seven months uh, from a time period about June, really July to January to get our... So the average right now seems to be about six months. Um, if there's about like eight months or you're going on nine months, you certainly want to be contacting them. You can write them a letter and they should be following up with you on that. But most cases, it's taken about six to seven months. Now, the best way to track it is going to be creating an account, which is free on Visa Journey, where they have a whole database of people that went through, uh, couples that went through and documented each step and where they're at. Uh, so you can certainly see most updated timetables there on the expected waiting period that you're going to be going through. Now I hope this video was helpful. Uh, just a quick video here. If you have any questions on the K-1 process, certainly leave them in the comment section below. I will certainly answer those questions. If I get a lot of them, I'll even make a follow-up video on that question as well. Thank you always for watching. Subscribe. More videos coming soon. We'll keep you guys updated on this K-1 visa process. Have a great day and we'll see you guys on the next video.